unlimited, not only beliefs, but behavior that you can be your own boss. A lot of people start businesses every year in the United States of America. And within a short few years, they say three to five years, 90% of the business has failed. So you made a leap of faith. Now, some of you have different circumstances. Some people work full-time, some people work part-time. But if you really want to make a difference in real estate, just like in all businesses, like I said, um, Friday at the Inglewood board, um, it's really about habits. A set of habits equal a routine. A set of routines equal a lifestyle. And you really have to be able to prioritize how you manage your time. Because time is one of those factors you never get back. The hard time with entrepreneurs is time management. It's not leads, because leads are plenty. There's more than enough people that want to buy houses. It's follow-up and it's the time committed to the action of lead generation. So you have to be able to prioritize your debt. You have no customers, you have no revenue or potential revenue coming in, true or false. And if you don't get customers or clients through the door, then how successful are you as a business? A lot of people prioritize the wrong things in real estate. What are some of the things that people want to prioritize when they first come into real estate? Getting a nice flyer. We've done that for you. It's already designed. Getting business cards. It's already designed. What else? Yes, there are. You already got templates. We just released 50 to you. Why am I doing these things? Why are we doing these things? so you can get out of the locker room and play the game. Because until you play the game, you're not making the effort. We're not in the business of renting out desks and furniture and offices. We are in the business to make our real estate agents the most successful and professional agents in the areas we serve. And by coincidence, the areas we serve are very personal to us. By coincidence, these are the areas we've grown up in, we've gone to worship in, gone to school in, patronized local businesses. These are near and dear areas to us. So unlike a lot of different brands, unless you prioritize, guess what ends up happening to a real estate professional who doesn't prioritize? You go out of business because you fail to have business hours, you fail to get customers, you fail to prioritize what you should be doing. And that F word I always talk about is what? Why do people come? Flexibility. Flexibility. Not the yoga type either. Huh? Not some praying mantis looking downward dog type of shit. I'm talking about real deal flexibility. What's some of the things that you can do when you're an entrepreneur and you have flexibility? Time. Yeah, time. Okay, but what are some of the what are some of the the reasons people want flexibility? Oh, family. Or quality. The other capital F word people hide behind. I got a family. I got news for you. Everybody does. <laughs> Nobody. Anybody here more to a, a like a church steps in a basket or somebody? <laughs> no, right? We all have loved ones. True or false? Friends, at least, if you don't have any family, siblings, children, spouses, all of those things are requirements. So I, so I say people hide behind that F word. People use that sh all the time. Well, it's my children. I, yeah, I want to spend more time with them. Do you want to leave them a legacy? Now, don't get me wrong. As a father of five, I know I'm not sitting down in the middle of the living room putting Legos together every day. I'm not throwing basketball or footballs around in the front yard every single day. It can only take you so far. You want to leave them something, you got to have flexibility. But you got to have more than just flexibility. You have to have priority. So what are the, some of the things that you would do 
as a real estate professional that must have priority in your business. Remember, people can for flexibility. There's nothing wrong with it. This, my mom was sick just a little while ago. I dropped everything and I went for five days without even thinking about the business. I did see some Amex charges go up on Teresa Mack's side. Mm-hmm. Really? Well, honestly speaking, like, with all jokes aside, I was able to do that because I'm a business person and I have leverage, right? So those are the, the reasons why we do it. But unless you prioritize your activity, you can't get to the next step. So what kind of things should we prioritize? DPA, she summed it up. (laughs) She was like, DPA. What does DPA stand for? Dollar producing activity. There's only two things that you can be doing. DPA or DWA. Wait, it is not dorks with an attitude either. What is it? Dollar wasting a dollar wasting activity. So what's a dollar producing activity, ladies and gentlemen, in real estate? Door knocking. Uh, door knocking. Okay. We're gonna talk about it in the live class that you guys get a benefit of today. What else? Oh, go open houses. What else? Connected. I don't usually have people behind my back. Oh, uh, <laughs> making calls. Okay. Building relationships, right? Basically cultivating. That's all you guys are talking about. Cultivating relationships. And you guys are experts at cultivating relationships. Who doesn't feel like they're an expert in cultivating relationships? You've been building relationships all your life. From the playground to the schoolyard to the yacht place. Right? How many people are married here? Okay, I think you made some friends along the way. <laughs> right? How many people have kids here? Okay. How many people have ever gone to school here? How many people have ever had a job here? Because everybody's made and built relationships. Prioritize relationship building, but make sure that you create a sense of urgency when specifically to real estate. Remember, I've all we've all been to the open house or in t- interactions where people are great. They have loving, great personality. They can't close a deal. They can't convert anything. Try to be able to create that sense of urgency and have real estate specific conversations. So we're gonna go around the room to the live audience. And we're gonna go around the room and talk about When you prioritize, what do you prioritize over? Because you have to sacrifice something, okay? It doesn't mean it's gone forever. It just means you put priority in your days.